the, the film is very much a portrait of New York in the late 70s, early 80s. New York was really pretty grungy, and I say that in a positive way because it made it very accessible and a very colorful backdrop for filming. But New York had gone through a bankruptcy crisis in, I think it was 1976. So the city was crumbling and falling apart. Buildings were dilapidated, especially in the East Village. It was a little bit like an open city. You could film wherever you wanted. You didn't, or I never thought about getting permits. So we just sort of ran around the city finding these great crumbly locations and filming in them. And we found some locations that had, you know, like amazing, you know, graffiti and stuff like that. But she kind of had a little bit of a hand in it too. We were in these tenement apartments with no heat, up five flights of stairs. And so it was, it was crazy. And, pl and also, we shot without permits on the subway. And so we were constantly being chased off the, out of the subway. And it was like, you know, guerrilla filmmaking, which made it, like, even more exciting. Eric's loft is in Soho when people could afford, regular people, poor people, artists could afford to live in, in Soho and those lofts hadn't been renovated. So I look at some of the scenes like where Eric's girlfriend is sitting on the steps and it was those great, very steep old loft building steps, which you just rarely find these days. So trying to capture that texture and also using the not just graffiti art, but just the crumbling nature of the city. It, it just gave a great texture to the film. Well, I guess that's it. One of the main areas was where Paul's van was parked, was just a deserted lot. It was in Hell's Kitchen, maybe like 48th Street, 49th Street in the West Side Highway. And interestingly, at that time, the West Side Highway was also pretty colorful in a sort of seedy way, because it was sort of a hooker strip, you know, male and female hookers. That now all got cleaned up in the last 10, 15 years, and is now the High Line. So we filmed a lot in that area. We also filmed a lot in the East Village. We filmed in the Peppermint Lounge, which at the time was transitioning into kind of a, from the 1950s and 60s rock and roll peppermint lounge into a sort of a punk venue. <laughs> 